Monday. You know, if you had a case of the Sunday scaries, not to worry. I think Monday's forecast will help to wash that away with some blessings on the way from Mother Nature. Take a look at this beautiful sights from around Southern Colorado. This photo sent in by Carter Chavez. The backside of Pikes Peak, that view from Florissen out there in western parts of Taylor County. And from that same area, a little bit farther west, this is the South Platte River. That photo submitted by Kim Schumart. If you have any pictures, videos, storm reports, you want to share with the weather team, best way to do it, send us an email, weather at KOAA.com. All right, here's a look at those current out-the-door temperatures. It is downright cold in Alamosa, all the way down to the single digits. 37, the latest temperature in Canyon City. 28 in the springs, 20 the current temperature in Pueblo. So it's cold enough you'll want that layer this morning, but by the afternoon you can shed those layers as we have some high pressure energy moving in from our south. That's going to bring in some warm and dry conditions to the state. Be a little bit breezy to gusty out across the eastern plains, but for the most part, early this week the outlook looking good as the jet stream, all that storm energy stays bottled up to our north. For us locally in southern Colorado, our forecast characterized by cool to cold nights, mild to warm days, at least through Thursday. So let's track the next 36 hours for you. Let's make our way towards the lunch hour today in the springs. We'll be right near 60 and I think our high gets about two or three degrees above that. Then look how quickly things cool after sunset. We'll be back down to near freezing tomorrow morning, followed by an even warmer afternoon on Tuesday. That high well into the upper 60s for Pueblo. We're going to be a little warmer than that, being that our elevation is a little bit lower than the springs mid 60s today dropping down to the upper 20s tonight and then jumping all the way up to the 70s as you make our way towards Tuesday afternoon. So here's a look at those daytime eyes today from across the region, starting the work week on the right foot, 70 in La Junta, 56 in Alamosa, 60 in Rye, 61 your daytime high in Colorado Springs. And here is that super seven day forecast. Not a whole lot of excitement, not a whole lot of action for at least the next two to three days, but I do want to do a breakout here on Thursday. This is the first day when we start to notice some changes, some developments here in the weather pattern. First, we'll see that wind pick up, so it could see gust in the afternoon, 25 to 35. It's going to be that dry southwesterly downslope wind, so that brings us well above average highs, but more importantly, could increase the risk for high fire danger. Now that's in association with that storm I showed you off the coast of California. Eventually some of that energy reaches us this weekend with the potential for a few rain or snow showers for Pueblo. I have us dry and warm through Friday. A few rain showers possible here Saturday. For now, I'm keeping Sunday dry, but it's still a developing situation. We will keep you posted. Canyon City, 71 on Tuesday, windy and warmer on Thursday with a high of 72. A few rain showers possible Saturday, drying out it looks like by Sunday afternoon. Woodland Park, I've got mild dry conditions through the end of the week with a wintry mix possible by Saturday afternoon.